You, you start with a skeleton, which is typically a couple of cross sticks tied together. You start with a school system. You start with a school that needs math and science teachers. And then you put some sort of skin, which can be paper or plastic. In, my, in our case, it's plastic. And you, you bring these amazing people who have a love for math and science and a commitment to learning a whole new set of skills. Well, I worked for IBM uh, for 31 years. And I've been associated with computer engineering for my whole career until last year when I decided I wanted a transition. I think what, what's going on in Lou's class is clearly an example of someone who spent years loving science and, think, and, and really thinking through, how do I take it, make it exciting for kids through kite flying? First of all, a kite is a first cousin to a wing of an airplane, and so there's a little bit of aerodynamics. A kite lives in the wind, and so there's what is the wind, what causes the wind. Uh, if you were, the analogy is if you were going to build an airplane in a class. I mean, clearly you can't have seventh and eighth graders building an airplane in, in 10 weeks. But, but the idea is you can build a kite. When you think about really good teaching, it's hands-on. It's allowing kids the opportunity to create their own knowledge. And so someone who's coming from IBM and who's done hands-on work for 30 years, coming into the classroom and translating that into, you know, kids flying kites to understand physics, math, uh, nature. Um, that's, that's what teaching is. I've always liked teaching. I kind of, something I've always wanted to do more of. I think I'm getting experience, getting training, and becoming a teacher.